Here we have the command prompt. We all mm -hmm. know it. We all love it. We type in bash. You can see that we're now sitting at a Unix command prompt. Now, LSB release just shows you what it is that we're running. We are running the trusty version of Ubuntu at this particular point in time. Uh, once again, we grabbed this directly from Canonical. There's no changes made to their image. This is something that an end user can go download off their site today. So real Linux user mode already running on top of Windows. Real Linux user mode running on top of Windows. Now, everybody knows that you can do an LS. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. not terribly exciting. Everybody always asks us to do an LS in the proc directory, so we'll start with that. Uh, just to have some fun, we will cat whack proc, like CPU info. Wow. Yeah. Genuine Intel, all sorts of goodness going on there. Now, I'm going to be clearing the screen every once in a while so people can hopefully see it a little bit better. Absolutely. Now, as we go through, let's actually prove that we're running an elf binary at this particular point in time. So elf binaries are the binaries created. Cool. And you can see that what we're doing here is we're actually running elf64, and it thinks that it's on Unix. Real Unix code. Real Unix code. Now, some of the stuff that everybody has always asked about this one. Mount C. First off, can I see my C drive? Wait, wait, wait. So you're going to show us the Windows file system from within Linux running on Windows? Yes. Yes. So, wow. mount C dev. So I'm going into my dev directory. Okay. And you can see ls. There's everything. Okay. Right? So life there is good. Let's go into samples. Tab completion does work. Nice. See, and here I just have hello.c. Okay. And everybody cool. knows hello world. This is something that everybody always starts with. Let's take a look with it, look at it in VI. Wow, so there's Vi running on Linux on Windows. Yes. I like this. It's nice. Let's do more of this. So we'll just quit out of this. We don't need to make any changes. It looks fine. And GCC. Hello.c dash o hello. So this is the GNU C compiler compiling. Hello world. And hello world runs. And then just to prove. Yeah, make sure that prove that this isn't a Win32 app that, uh, under the hood. Read elf hello. Once again, we just compiled elf64, right. Unix, all sorts of goodness going on there. So, hello world is fun. Mm -hmm. Let's go into something a little bit more real world. A bit more meaty. A bit more meaty. I'm just going to go into my demo directory. Now, for everybody who's looking at it, I have a. So, let's assume that I am a web developer. And as a web developer, I have this page. So it says, hello world. Not Very terribly cool. exciting. Not the most beautiful page in the world, but functional. But functional. So it's running in Azure. OK. Uh, you can see that this is, yep, there it is, azure.com. And, and this is on ASP.NET, of course. Uh, no, actually, this is running in Ruby. So oh, Ruby. this is running right. on Ubuntu's Azure. It's sitting here inside of GitHub. Beautiful, as, as it should be. As it should be. So I want to make this page a little bit more interesting. Now, one of the things that I can do is git clone. So I'm just going to go out. Oh, I forgot to install git. Ah, oh, great. So, so in Windows, I would normally now go to, we're going to get, get this in? We're going to get install git. Nice. So you can see that this is actually going out, and we are grabbing app git from the same location that you would go out and get it if you were running it on, on Linux. Very cool. Take just a moment in order to unpack this. Sometimes uh -huh. it takes a little bit longer. This is kind of a work in progress. But again, this is now app get running on Ubuntu, running on Windows. Yes, Linux I have app to get. keep saying this, because this is a new day. This is a new day. So that same git clone command that I ran before, again. And it goes out. You can see that I'm actually doing this via SSH. Beautiful. All the certificates and everything else works. So again, this is Git running that's been installed using app get yes. on Linux on Windows. Yes. I like it. it Keep going. That's exactly right. Give me more. So now, if we do an ls-l, you can see that the Sinatra demo directory is new. If we pop over this guy, we go under demo. You can see it in Windows as well. You can well. now see that it's Look here. Look at that. Beautiful. So this is everything that I just grabbed. All right, so let's go into the Sinatra demo. We take a look. There it is. Now, for those of you that don't know, my code that says hello world is running in app.rb. Cool. All right, we'll clear this. Now, if I were in the Linux world, I'd run vi app.rb. Cool. This is the world's dumbest Ruby app, so pay no attention to that. But I am not. I am actually running on Windows. You are. So what do you say? We come out here. And we go to this app.rb, and we modify it using Visual Studio Code. Wait, 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 wait. Let's 
say rar, because I like it saying rar. I just have rar to is necessary. And let's give it an image, because images are more fun. And we save, just like you normally would. Cool. I'm just going to shut this down. Now, for those of you running Ruby, one of the commands that you can do in order to test your app, because everybody should be testing their app before they actually everybody run it, should running be. Webrick. Webrick right. is a web server on Linux. So you're running your website in Webrick on Linux on Windows. Yeah, just locally to test. I'm starting to detect a pattern here. There is a pattern. There is a pattern. It's a wonderful thing. Uh, cool. You will note that we're hitting port 9292. Yep. So over here, I happen to have it up right here, localhost 9292. No, wait exactly. Since because it, they're going down through the same network stack. Since it's running on the same kernel, it's hitting the same network stack. This is running locally. Beautiful. And you can see that my page is now up. You should be a graphic designer, sir. I, I, this is the extent of my skills. <laughs> this is the absolute extent of nice. my skills. So that's all well and good. And you can see that we actually hit it. Once again, no smoke oh, and mirrors on this one. Nice. All right. So we just proved that this is working. Durr, is let's make sure that the server is actually up, <laughs> which would be a really good thing to do. So let's SSH. So you're S using Linux's own SSH. Linux's own SSH. To SSH into a Linux server running in, in, on Azure. in Azure. Yes? Right. Yeah. So this is running SSH. I had all my certificates set up so it didn't prompt for username and password. Cool. We are now SSH'd in. Bar dub dub dub. Let's take a look. As you can tell, I really like the alias LL. Uh, <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> so Sinatra app. It's yep. up and going. Cool. Life there is good. So let's exit out of here. Let's go back into my Sinatra demo. All right, so, so now. So you're going to now want to push that Sinatra demo up into the server. I yeah. am. So git commit dash a dash m rar. Cool. So git diff. Oh, there is no diff because I just did yep. that. Uh, git push. Cool. There we go. Just so push it. Git has now been updated. Git has now been updated. So let's push this out. Like I said, I have been running this, or we were normally deploying this via Mina. Mm -hmm. So Mina deploy. Give it just a moment. The red that you see are actually not errors. And so that's pushed Mina. Oh, this was demo. We hit refresh and a beautiful there thing it happens. Is. Look at that. Fantastic. So I just went through the day in the life of a developer in a very, very, very simplified fashion. Sure. Uh, to show what's going on and to show that you can actually like work with. Awesome. With Ruby on this. Uh, once again, coming directly from Canonical, it's the Ubuntu user mode untouched uh, and Windows subsystem for Linux. Essentially, what we're doing is we are taking all the all the syscalls and we're redirecting them in a way that's the Linux or that the Windows kernel can understand. Right. Uh, so these are the 